here though too because I might what we just do we added five homes which takes us to 90 homes right 95 homes okay so we got 95 homes um, how many homes can we put around this bad boy one okay we can do one around the back and we probably can do two by orientate them properly yeah we can do two right down here so we got one and then the second right there and then run the pathway right there and we'll continue with them all I think I'm just gonna do it straight across because we might end up doing a second farm right here and then have the pathway on the other side of the farm and we'll add our two other homes right when I can get them so right there and right there will be our next two so we need one more I think we'll just do the last one right beside it and then we are going to need the storage barn so we'll throw the storage barn right behind the homes that way it's not they're not walking too terribly far go ahead and throw that right there and that way like I said the, the forest lodge is Again, it's not obsolete yet, so I probably won't get rid of it. Um, once I build these ones, I'll really only get rid of it once it officially becomes obsolete, and it doesn't, there's no point for it to be there. Um, we have plenty of stuff for people to do. Um, I'm going to take the miners away. I'll leave like 10 miners, and we'll fill back out the people that we're, we actually officially need um, and put the rest in the building. I just want to keep up with making sure that we have all the blacksmiths and all the you know physicians, the cleric, herbalist, and gatherers and stuff, the people that are in the tornado. We're in a tornado. It just pulls it through the finest tornado. Um, the only thing I don't like about this game right now is that if you hit certain things like disasters, they don't take you to the disaster there. It is. Oh, it's pretty hard to fucking miss. getting killed by this tornado, man. Damn. The natural disaster might take us out of people, to be honest with you. Judging by what's going on right now, holy shit. Go away, tornado. Go away. Killing all these people. They're nowhere even near it. I don't understand that, guys. That's not something that I can, you know, even respond to because that's just ridiculous. There's nobody there. Well, 
this little section of the town is getting smacked pretty hard. Um, okay, so the tornado is gone. We lost about a hundred people in that tornado. So that is kind of shitty. I'm going to go ahead and rebuild everything. Um, obviously, we took quite a hit there. Um, I'm just going to make sure that everything is being fixed. The majority of the people we lost were um, people that not they weren't important wasn't stuff that was necessarily needed so we'll just throw some people back into the immediate needs um, obviously we need the herbalists um, I think we can pull back the hunters pull back the fishermen we need the woodcutters and then we're gonna add Everybody else to builders right now. Obviously, we still need all of our. Well, actually, we need to knock our foresters down to knock that down to ten, so we can fill out the farming, and everybody else can go to help rebuild. And we'll actually knock off the miners and the stone cutters real quick, and just completely fill out the. Uh, people to help rebuild so pretty good thing I did right there going and buying all the stone when I did because we definitely just uh, had a little bit of a issue occur right there wasn't really prepared for that one but that's our first tornado so that sucks. Um, let's go to uh, graph real quick. Um, I mean, if we could find, if we got a thing of nomads that came through right now, I I wouldn't be too upset. Um, I don't even know. I mean, we definitely lost a lot of fucking people, so. Okay, so the homes are being rebuilt, which is awesome. Everybody's working pretty good. Everybody's helping everybody, which is awesome. We'll go ahead and add the, the extra person to go make some alcohol, because obviously after a big thing like that, You'll want to make sure people can go get drunk and, you know, make themselves feel better about what's going on since they just survived through a tornado. Um, we'll just keep an eye on everything, guys, and obviously once we'll start seeing the numbers pop down for the people needed to rebuild things, at least it didn't come through this way. If it came through this way, that would have hurt. That would have hurt a lot more than what it did. But, even where it did go, it still kind of hurt a little bit. That was not fun. I can see where um, it would be a little rough at certain points to have to deal with that. Um, would say it's a good thing to have stuff spread out like we do so that everybody's not confined to one little area obviously if that happens a, a really early stage in your game that would be a real big hurt piece you will see uh, the food count jump up now because we'll probably only be using like 20,000 food instead of 30 every year what do you got for us iron and stone well guess what my friend we are in need of all that stuff because we just got hit hit so we're gonna take all 400 of your iron we'll take all 400 of your stone and we will take what do we need 
We don't need logs. We'll take his tools too. So, we will give you all 1,000 of our firewood. And then we will bump this all the way up by. because that'll help us rebuild oh we got a little ward too so a little bit of bad things and a little bit of a good thing um, and then you know we just got hit with an outbreak of some horrid disease so but we have enough hospitals that we should be able to take care of that I'm not too stressed or worried about that um, with three hospitals I really can't see that getting anywhere um, so hopefully this guy can get over to this hospital quickly and we can go ahead and get him better. Oh, we've got two people now. Get your butt into the hospital. I don't want no more sick people. There we go. All right, yelling at people makes them do stuff. No, don't do that. Don't yell at people. Yelling does not always get you where you want to go. Sometimes it hurts more things than what it fixes. Sometimes you gotta yell though, but you gotta know when to yell. So a little bit of good and a little bit of bad just happened for us guys, obviously. Um, us losing that amount of people is never good, obviously, but um, you know, we do have the chance now to jump up our amount of food being stored. Not that that's like the greatest thing to be happy about, but obviously it's, you know, we have to be happy about something in, the, in light of the events that just took place, so um, you know. I'm choosing to be happy about that and you know look on the brighter side with that in regards so um, we're also going to throw down another storage barn right I will throw it right there throw one right there um, and we'll add some roadage right here So, that's probably the worst thing we've had to deal with so far. Um, I'm assuming there's... I mean, obviously, the fire thing is definitely something that, you know, is a natural disaster. And then, um, we have the tornadoes that just happened, so that's no fun. I don't know guys, it kind of looks like it's starting to fill in a little bit. I'm not sure though. We'll give it a couple more years and see what happens. Yeah, so we, and now we're at 50,000 count on stored food, so we are really doing good with the stored food count. What's this? The materials required for work platform. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't switch you to wheat. There you go. We have wheat. That we do have. If anybody tries to say otherwise, you lying. We got wheat, 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 wheat. We got all kinds of wheat. Okay, so. Oh, what what we just built? Oh, the storage farm. <laughs> That's pretty bad when you forget what you just put down and you just put it down. Um, so. Okay, we are getting some more people to jump into laborers. It probably will be a little bit of a hit on morale immediately. Um, obviously, you know, we just lost a bunch of people. Probably a bunch of fathers, daughters, wives, grandparents, grand, you know, grandfathers, grandmothers that just passed away in that little um, tornado incident. So, you know, it'll we'll probably have a little bit of hit on the average happiness of everybody, and you know. Hopefully the average health of everybody will kind of stay um, in good spirits. 
you know, we'll just keep an eye on that. I don't really want them to drop down below three um, bars and three stars. So if that does start to happen, we're going to go ahead and see what else we can do. I know adding the second um, church would probably definitely help. Um, but obviously at this point in time we need to make sure we can rebuild first and then we'll go ahead and tackle that. I know I did add a, like one thing um, to the amount of stuff that we were doing already, but I mean, you know, the storage barn is a storage barn. It's not going to kill us to have a storage barn. So, or an extra one I should say. And I'm not sure where these people are pathing to right now. I think people are, you know, looking at the dead and mourning everybody and stuff and I know we do need a bigger cemetery too the 35 cemetery kind of um, let's just say it's, it's no longer working for us so it'll be good to get another cemetery in here somewhere probably if we build a church down here we'll do another cemetery on the um, outside of that and probably just make this like a little churchy area churchy area with a cemetery attached to it and then you know obviously we have all the stuff that's being built from um, right before the uh, tornado so you know again not really rushing any of it but you know when it's when she's done she's done and then we'll be back to regular progression so and right there that's gonna put another <laughs> episodes back in on us because now we got to rebuild. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to laugh to keep from crying right now because that really hurt. That was really upsetting. Um, I didn't want to lose that many people. We were doing so well. We got up to almost 300 adults and, you know, everything was going great. But, you know, at the same time, it's not that bad. Obviously, at this point, we're going to have to, you know, probably fill out some homes because I'm sure we uh, lost quite a few people. So, we got 91 homes, 129 families. So, I'd say there's quite a few people that are probably singles in the homes right now. Yeah, which is fine. I can't be mad at them for being upset about losing their loved ones. It is what it is. So, pretty much, guys, I think that our goal, obviously, right now is to make sure that we can rebuild everything. Obviously, it won't be too horrible and horrendous for us to rebuild. As you guys can see, the numbers of people are slowly starting to um, fizzle back um, around. We still are going to have the regular occurrences of people dying of old age and stuff like that, but we should have more than enough stuff set up for us to be able to survive. Oh my goodness. And the best part about it is, is that we didn't lose any storage barns. So, we didn't take a giant hit to any of our uh, stock of items. So, which obviously we just bought all that stone, which is pretty much just going to be used to fix everything that got broken in the hurricane. But, or tornado, excuse me, it was definitely not a hurricane. We don't live near an ocean. So, this house is almost done. This forest lodge is back. We got a home down there almost finished. Oh, we're making some more ale. Oh, yeah, we got 37 ale. So, that should be happy. Or helping everybody's happiness quite a bit. I know. Let me see. Makes it warmer, makes it as happy. 
why it's never in the points placed. Yeah, that might be an issue, but we'll see. Um, okay, so yeah, the uh, the cemetery might be a good idea also to add now more than ever and a chapel so that way the people who are dying in the future years to come they have some place to go and mourn the dead and everything so we are gonna go ahead and add a chapel right down here um, obviously I don't want to go too too crazy and we will see what this trader has for us some cabins and pecan we don't need your cabbage and pecans. But thank you for bringing it to us. Giving us the option to say no. Um, how do I want this to be down here? Um, well guys, I don't know. We'll go ahead and just kind of keep along with our tradition of putting everything to a point where it fits in the space we have. So we're going to add this chapel right here. Obviously that's going to be a pretty big hit to all that stuff. But then we'll also add this cemetery right beside it. Um, well we might put it behind it to be honest with you. Just so that way we can um, kind of maximize the space. Wow, we can build a 20 by 20 cemetery. That is ridiculous. We're going to do a 19 by 19 cemetery. I think that'll be good for everybody to be able to run over here and um, mourn the dead. So we'll go ahead and do that. That might be a little um, ridiculous to do, but, you know, what the heck. We weren't going to do anything really with this space of land anyway, so... We'll throw that down there and then we'll probably add a couple more homes down here, maybe. I might just leave it five, but we'll see what happens. Excuse me guys, now I have to blow my nose. She done gave me the sniffles. Go ahead and mute the mic real quick, because I know y'all don't want to hear me blow into the into the microwave. Microwave, wow. Huh? Uh, oh, no, that was because I was pushing stuff. Alright, you know, the, the dual nose blowing going on is over here is at the house. Okay. So, we're getting back around to everybody having jobs again. We're going to start throwing some people back into all the jobs. I think we just got one of the forest lodges, if not both. Yep, both built down here, which is awesome. Obviously, um, we just had that little influx of the amount of people doing um, their jobs as far as builders are concerned show now I believe the only things we really have left to do are a couple of homes over there obviously what we just placed and then our pasture which is only 14% complete obviously with the distance that the people have to walk to get here it's gonna be an issue to actually you know get all that stuff over here but once we start really fleshing this area out some more and uh, getting everything taken care of that's when obviously we will be in a little bit better of a um, shape to go ahead and start building some more stuff over here and you know, 
will have more options for things over here. Over yonder! Um... Alright. Add some more foresters. Now we're gonna be at that odd phase right now where we had so many people die. We're still having people be bored, which is really nice, and we didn't have a complete fall off of all the young kids, which would really suck. Um, obviously, it's a natural disaster for a reason, but we want to try to stay away from natural disasters as long as we can, um, obviously. So, go ahead and drop two more builders, which is really nice. Hmm. Them building these little pathways. I don't know why we even have a Labor. We definitely did, but all right. Um, and the good thing is, it didn't really affect our cattle pastures. That would have sucked more, cause them cattle, man, and that—that's not something fun. Um, oh shit! It killed all the sheep. Oh, okay. Um. We'll split this one. Okay, so that's gonna have some more sheep here in a couple seconds. Um, obviously, you just gotta get over there. We have all of the people standing by to work those, work that area. So that shouldn't be a big deal. Um, oh, our pasture's almost done, or it's getting there at least. Um, more of the stuff is being removed. Um, so, also run over here real quick and see how everything's working over here. So they are good. They're not working on the chapel and the cemetery. Oh, they are working on the cemetery. Of course they are. Why wouldn't they? Just full. It is. Okay, so I, we also do need another storage barn. We'll probably throw another storage barn right there, right beside the church. Um, why not? No, again, I'm adding more shit to the people's list of stuff to get done, but, um, you know, it is what it is. It won't hurt us. If that tornado ain't hurt us, we'll be alright. We'll make a little comeback here. Obviously, right now, it's again that time where we just lost all those people, so you're going to have a bunch of single um, older adults that aren't going to get um, pretty much remarried again and they're gonna just you know die off slowly and we will then once they die off the younger generation will take over their homes and then we'll have that upswing of um, people again so that's pretty much where we're at with that obviously there's nothing wrong with that there it's just kind of you know how the game is played and there's nothing wrong with that. We'll just keep up with everything that we can and make sure that we can get the majority of positions filled and do what we gotta do. We did just lose positions, we need them, so we'll steal people from different places and get that stuff done. Um, and then I know we were 
looking forward to building over there. We probably won't be building um, too much too quickly. I mean, obviously, once this pasture is built, um, I'll send a couple homes down there so that there is people over there. And um, once the um, we can buy some cattle, that'll be good to go. So we'll see what this bad boy has for us. Oh, the general merchant, he's being so good to us right now, guys. So good to us. We got a bunch of iron, bunch of stone again. So, Mr. Merchant, we are going to take all of your stone again because that is what we need right now. We're going to take all of your iron. And we're going to take all of your tools because... Mr. Merchant, we just lost a lot of people, and it's going to be very helpful to us if you give us everything you have, including these logs, which we normally wouldn't need, but under the current circumstances, it would be very nice to have. So, we'll do a thousand of the firewood, because we do have all of our woodcutters still, so they should be able to keep up with the firewood consumption.